Hello shooters. Uh, buddy of mine out there uh, asked me a question about backpacks or rucksacks and second line gear, third line gear and second line gear. Just as a starter, first line gear is like your, uh, your pocket knife, your handgun, things that you'll, even if you get rid of all this stuff, you'll have with you. Some guys do carry their handgun on their second line gear, I don't. I keep it separate of my second line gear. My second line gear is your fighting gear. That's for all your magazines and, you know, some water, first aid. Uh, then your your fighting gear. And then your third line gear is like your resupply or your house. So, so a rucksack is going to be your third line gear. And I've got a couple of different uh, backpacks, rucksacks here. Going to got some different, uh, you know, second line gear. We'll look at how that all relates together. Some second line gear works well with, uh, with your third line gear, even while you're wearing it, but a lot of it doesn't. Uh, the reason these chest rigs work pretty well with the, with the rucksack is there's typically nothing on the back, and there's typically not a lot of crap on the sides. Um, but that's going to change as we uh, put different uh, gear systems on. Um, this is a... This is a modified Alice. Uh, I found the instructions on how to do this on YouTube. I've run a lot with an Alice pack. Uh, they have their weaknesses, they have their strengths. One of their weaknesses was their... was the waist belt and the shoulder straps. On the Alice, the waist belt and the shoulder straps, in my opinion, they totally suck. Okay. They were not made by anybody that ever had to use them. This is a waist belt from a Molly uh, rucksack, and the shoulder straps are from a Molly rucksack. And then, anybody that's ever used Dallas knows how bad these little things suck over here. You know, these little, uh, on the Alice, it's a little metal springy thing that sucks. These are, I've switched them all over to Fast X buckles. A lot better, a lot nicer. This is the sleep system carrier from a from a Molly system. It's a good place to uh, carry your your sleeping stuff. Okay, so with this with this particular chest rig, I'm able to wear the Alice. Now you see how I'm standing right now. You got to have a frame if you're doing any rucking at all. If you don't have a frame, this is what you're going to end up looking like. See, I don't have the frame hooked up. And I have to do, I have to lean forward like this to carry the load. Well, leaning forward like this sucks for a whole bunch of reasons. And there's no good reason to lean over like this. Now, when you get a properly set up uh, rucksack with a frame, you'll be able to take that load right off your shoulders and put it on your hips. There. Now, see how I can stand straight up? I can actually feel the load going on to my hips when I, when I, when I lean back or do whatever. Whew, feels a lot better. I can go a long ways. Uh, fatigue is bad. Okay. Fatigue leads to mistakes. Mistakes lead to you getting dead. We want to stay away from fatigue. Patrolling is very difficult work. Patrolling with a rucksack on is even more difficult. If you're patrolling with a rucksack with no frame on it, you're basically just hiking. You're walking through the woods. You're so fatigued after a short amount of time that you're not doing any patrolling at all. You're not really watching your sector. Yeah, your, your head may be pointed over where your sector is. But your your brain's not going to be engaged because you're going to be too fatigued. So we want to, we want to lessen fatigue as much as we can. Okay. So with this particular chest rig, I can wear a uh, third line gear um, rucksack because there's nothing on the back and there's nothing on the sides that get in the way of me uh, uh, using this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, switch out rigs and see what happens. Okay, here we are with Alice. Now you're going to automatically, this is why Alice doesn't work with third line gear. Magazine pouches right here on our waist. 
got the canteens here on the sides, got the butt pack here in the back. So when you try and don your, your rucksack, you run into problems right away because of the butt pack. Okay? But if the butt pack wasn't there, you still couldn't use the waist strap here because of all this stuff you got around your waist. So, what's the solution? The solution is, you put your second line gear on top of your third line. I'll show you how you do that. Okay, there's our Alice Ruck. Here is our Alice gear. And I've got a couple of straps here with fast X buckles. Okay. So we put this on, kind of like we're gonna, kind of like this is our body. And then you route these fast X buckles. show you. There's this right there. And you put your shoulder straps through it. Then you cinch it down. Okay. And then you can also use these things, you know, these extra straps that always or with the with the Alice, you can use those to help tie it in, but it's not going anywhere right now. Okay, so here we have our third line gear with our second line gear running on our third line gear. Just running over the top of it, okay? You can see it now, you know what? It does do something to your center of gravity a little bit. It puts your center of gravity a little bit back, which can be a challenge when you're going over, you know, rocks and logs, and you just got to be sure, uh, you know, to watch your balance and everything. But it's a way to get your second line with your third line. Okay, now when it comes time to hurry, hurry up and get to your second line, you can use the, uh, you know, the emergency release, but you really don't have to. And you do two quick clicks of a couple of fast X buckles, and you're on your road. You're you're running, you're running. You got your second line gear, and you can uh, take care of business. Okay, now let's look at a uh, now, now let's look at a different rucksack. Okay, now when you're talking about carrying the load in comfort, nothing nothing beats a civilian rig. Okay, this is a, this is an internal frame backpack. The frame is internal. On the Alice is external. You can see it. See, this is an external frame. This metal part here, the, the aluminum part, that's an external frame backpack. This one has carbon fiber stays, they call them, ribs, in the back there that, uh, that transfer the load down to the hips. Um, so these are much more comfortable. It keeps it close to your back. Your center of gravity is hardly affected at all. If you're going to be going over a lot of uh, tree stumps and rocks and uh, fording streams and things like that, this will really make your day compared to an external frame rock just because of the center of gravity issues. This one doesn't shift at all. An external rock, if I was to do this with the Alice, even the modified Alice, you'll feel the, the rock shift back there. These won't shift at all. Um, but you got to be careful when you're looking for a civilian rucksack, and I'll show you exactly why now. There's a lot of civilian rucksacks out there where you cannot lift your head up like that. The design of the ruck is to hug your head here, and you can't lift up. Well, when you're on patrol, you need to be able to look up, okay? We're in a 360-degree battlefield no matter where we're at. We've got to be able to look up, and also, when you're prone, if you got to get prone with your rucksack, you want to be able to assure that your your head's going to be able to see when you're in the prone position. So if you go to find a civilian rucksack, you know, put the sucker on and just make sure that you can get your head back. All right. Now, obviously, if I'm wearing a helmet, it's going to limit the 
the distance I can put my head back, but I don't typically wear a helmet when I'm doing some rocking. Okay, so uh, same deal with this. You know, with these rucksacks, you can always find uh, lashing points to hook your to hook your uh, uh, those straps, those uh, Fastex straps, to hook your your second line. I mean, your second line gear on here. Okay. So, uh, if you want to get in good shape, don a rucksack and get out there and start humping through the woods and patrol with a rucksack on. And uh, you'll get in shape in short order. Uh, test out your gear. Test out different loads. Find out where you want to keep your different, uh, different items in your rucksacks. You can get to accessible items when you need them and other things when you don't need them so bad. There's a ton of websites out there that show you how to pack rucksacks. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be doing that in this video. So anyhow, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, go out there and train. Train hard. Be safe. We'll see you later.